Hey, Coach. Uh, busy off season for you. A lot of incoming players, some outgoing. Uh, for you, but for you, what does it mean now to get uh, your roster already ready with the recruiting done and the scheduling already done for you? Um, yeah, I, I wish scheduling was done with the shakeup in the conference. You know, we're we're retooling a couple of things here. But uh, yeah, all the girls, some of them are already in yesterday, the day before, and everybody else arrives today and tomorrow. So just getting the group back in and getting them settled in for summer school and uh, having them a chance to work out together and do some open gym stuff will be, will be exciting with this new group. And also the uh, growth of volleyball sport here in the Rio Grande Valley. You started off in Brownsville, now you made your way over here. What's been the number one factor to seeing this sport grow? Uh, I, I, it is. It's growing really fast in the valley, and just more kids playing year round, and and the club scene is growing. And I think that's a big part of what's driving it. But I think just the growth in volleyball in the United States is, is probably the biggest factor. I mean, it's it's just hitting here. But um, we were just talking about it the other day. The number of college matches that are on TV now compared to the number of college matches that were on TV in 2015. It's probably tenfold, if not twentyfold, and so I just think the popularity of college volleyball. It's such an exciting sport. It showcases the women's ath the athleticism of the of the women, and I think it's just fun to watch. And for you as a coach, what do you think that that growth here in the valley has been determined to be? Do you do you label it at at, at your successes at UTB? Do you attribute it to the successes that you've had here at UTRGB? Combination of both will work. work. Where do you kind of see like the growth standpoint here in the Rio Grande Valley? Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, as we become more popular, I definitely think Brownsville, I think we, when we were down on that campus, we were impacting the lower valley maybe a little more now than we are now. And that's our goal here. Now that we're set, really settled into this program and settled here is how do we go back to impacting the lower valley like we have um, in the upper valley. And, you know, we've done, we've done a lot of legwork. We've been involved in the club scene here locally and, I think that helps, but I mean, like I said, it's, it's not just us here at the university that's developing volleyball. It's a lot of people in this community that are getting behind it. Um, the schools are getting better. They're going farther into the state playoffs and everything. So um, just that competition creates creates good things and, and growth. And for you as a coach and then doing a lot of the uh, recruiting a lot this season, well, what do you see from this uh, recruiting class that uh, you're able to put into play with with the uh, movements that you've seen uh, as far as the transfer portal and everything else is concerned. Um, you know, I think we we had a we had a great recruiting class and, and we really upgraded a couple of the positions that we felt like we needed to upgrade. Um, you know, of course, we lost Ivana, who started basically every point for us last year. So that'll be a key. You know, which one of these incoming DSs steps into that role and really leads us from, from a defensive standpoint. And then um, obviously Veronica graduating leaves a hole in the middle, but uh, you know, I think we've, we've recruited some good, some good young kids. And then also the transfer um, adding Margarita will definitely impact the middle position. And then, um, you know, not really losing a pin off the roster that, that was seeing a lot, of, a lot of playing time and adding somebody like Claudia is gonna impact the program a, a lot. But, if I have to say something, I would have to say the overall quality and the overall depth of the team together is probably going to be the biggest impact. We have a gym full of 17 kids, and they're all capable of contributing. And I think we haven't been in that situation in, in quite a while, if ever, here. And speaking of the desert, do, do you kind of feel like that's going to be one of the, uh, the drives for you uh, this upcoming season? The depth? Yes. Yeah, for sure. I mean. After we came out of COVID, and that was such a, like, we were so thin uh, coming up, like, during COVID, and we just saw how much it impacted us. And even last year, like, we with just the two middles on the roster, we were really limited and really had to, would have liked to give more kids rest when they were beat up a little bit. And we just really had to get creative with some of the things. I mean, Paris stepping in and playing some in the middle, things like that, where now we have four true middles on this roster, which is a huge um, step from where we were just five months ago, six months ago when we finished up last season. So, um, yeah, competition's going to be stiff in the gym. And when competition's stiff in the gym, competition on the court on game night gets better. And that's what we're looking forward to.
Thank you, Coach. Thank you.